In this video, we're going to discuss the solution for question 10 uh, on the practice midterm exam for Calculus 2 Math 1220. And we're asked to compute the antiderivative of x e to the negative x dx. Now, this one right here, when I look at it, this one screams integration by parts, right? Where we're going to set u equal to x and dv equal to e to the negative x dx. And so why does this one scream integration by parts? Well, let's first remember what integration by parts says, right? Um, if you're integrating u dv, this will equal uv minus the integral of v du. So we have to look for a function for which we want to take its derivative, and we want to look for a function for which we want to take its antiderivative. Well, because of the e to the negative x, um, the antiderivative and the derivative are really just basically the same thing. It'll be e to, negative e to the negative x. There's not really much of a difference there. But there is an advantage by taking the derivative of x. It's gonna, just going to vanish, right? The derivative of u will just be dx there. It just disappears. And then, like I said, the antiderivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. And so if we apply that principle, um, our integral will look like we have to take v times u, which gives us negative x e to the negative x. And then we have to subtract the integral of negative e to the negative x dx, for which case we have a double negative. They cancel out. And now I just have to find the antiderivative e to the negative x and look at that. I've already done it. How wonderful. And so our final answer would then be negative x e to the negative x. Um, we're then going to negative e to the negative x. And perhaps the most important part here is remember the plus c, right? Um, th this is an indefinite integral. We're looking for the family of antiderivatives. And so forgetting the c is as if we take the initial value that our c was zero, right? We don't want that. So for full credit, we do need the plus c. You don't want to forfeit that point there. But otherwise, we get this very nice integration by parts. You're going to want to make sure you know integration by parts for this exam.